And I realized that somebody else that I knew who was not super smart, who failed the same test as I do, <laughs> started their own company, I was like, wow, I can do that too. And so two years, we worked on various projects, did a bunch of things, um, finally found something we we're really passionate about. I decided either go all the way or you don't do it at all. And so we quit our job, you know, launched me with no, no funding, um, got a lot of traction, and then that was sort of the defining moment for myself to think, wow, you know, like people are actually using something that I created. My personal vision from day one is that I should be able to go to any town in the world, pick a random person, say the word Mebo, and it should click immediately that they've seen us, they know what we do, and they love it. That's my vision for Mebo. We've been at it for six years. Um, I think there's plenty of time left. I think we have great ideas, you know, in, in, the, in the engine that's spinning up. Um, it's getting there more than I thought it would be. Um, just because you just you never know, and um, when I get a spark of recognition in any place that I go, I, I take extreme value in that. Um, so I don't think we're that far, but you know, it, it'll take some time to get to Google Google strength. But you know, I, I think it's possible. The thing I learned there was that women tend to underestimate themselves. They can accomplish so much, but they don't know it. Um, they don't identify themselves as being powerful and smart and you know just as good as the guy next to them and they tend to uh, sort of make excuses for their achievements. They say, oh, I got this award because this guy didn't make it, or I got this first place because someone else kind of felt, you know, messed up. And so that was an interesting insight for, my, for me, and I think that's something that I want to impart onto all of you, is to really take, be proud of what you do. Um, like the other panelists said, be confident in who you are. And, you know, when I started Stanford, I was a timid, shy Chinese girl, um, and now I love speaking at these events because I think I want to relate to sort of the average you know student out there who doesn't think they can do a lot but they really really can so thank you